How y'all doing? My name is Josh Prey, and this is my formal application to become a resident, a permanent resident of Texas. Five reasons everybody in the world needs to live in Texas at some point in their life. Five. Number one, there is no pride like Texas pride. Now, I've been to Texas a couple times sporadically here and there, stay for a day or two. Last week, I was in Texas an entire week doing a tour. Houston, Dallas, San Antonio. I had to go from city to city to city. Every single town, every single city, the gas station, the bus drivers, even the homeless people that lived in Texas was like, I may not have a home, but I'm from Texas. And I'd rather be homeless in Texas than have a home where you stay. Texas pride, nothing compares to Texas pride. You ain't gonna disrespect them. You ain't gonna check them. You ain't gonna stress them. You ain't gonna tell them that they state ain't the best state in the entire world. But Josh, other countries don't have state. Damn it. If Texas went to, to the UK, then the UK will automatically have states. If Texas went to Canada and te Canada have provinces, they would no longer be provinces because Texas will overtake Canada and it will be called states. Texas pride is the greatest thing God has ever created. Number two, it is official. Dallas, Texas has the most attractive women in the world. Now, if you're a man and you're looking for the love of your life and you can't find nobody, go to Dallas, Texas. I promise to God, big or small, I've never seen this many fine plus size women. I've never seen this many women thin as olive oil that look like I would just suck them down like a side of biscuit with some shit. Texas, Dallas, Texas has the most e attractive, 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 attractive women I've ever seen. Dog. I walked into a light pole and the light pole made me want to go do it. The light pole was smelling like Fahrenheit and Charlie White cologne and perfume and candles and roses. I almost had a baby with a tree in Texas. I don't know what they're eating in Texas. I don't know what they feed them in Texas. I don't know what they growing like in Texas. But Dallas ain't nothing better. I swear to my Number three, the space between everything makes it feel like everything is your own. Have you ever wanted to be a property owner? Have you ever wanted a big crib? Have you ever wanted to have neighbors but not have neighbors? Move to Texas. From, from Houston to Dallas is about four hours. From Dallas to San Antonio is about three hours and 45 minutes. From San Antonio to like El Paso, anything, it's like a whole day, a whole 24 hours of driving. But everything is so close because everybody get along. Everybody got a relative that's in that town. So nobody's too far apart, but it's so spread out that when you go buy you a house, that's literally your property. That's your land. You don't have to share that. You don't have to worry about nobody towing your car on the side of the road. You don't have to worry about nobody complaining because you keep playing your music too loud. Texas has so much space and opportunity for everybody. I have absolutely no idea how it isn't more flooded with people. My name is Josh Prey, and I'm officially putting in the application to buy some land in the heart of Texas. Number four, the food. Have you ever had a pulled pork barbecue taco with cilantro? I hadn't even until I got to San Antonio, Texas. Have you ever walked into a Mexican restaurant where you felt like you walked outside the restaurant because it was too big? I didn't either until I got to Mama Cedars in San Antonio, Texas. Have you ever been in a place where you felt like I wish I had some sweet tea and the restaurant ain't had no sweet tea, but then like four seconds later with some sink water, some brown stuff, some sugar, you had the best damn sweet tea in your life? I hadn't either until I got to Dallas, Texas. Texas got the best Southern, the best Hispanic, the best food I've ever tasted. And it's all cooked right in front of your face. I'm telling you, they brought a pig in, a pig winked at me and said, I hope you enjoy me, oink, oink. Next second later, I had a bacon pig sandwich right in front of me. Damn it, I felt bad for eating part of the pig, but it was so good. Texas food is great. And number five, Texas is way more diverse than the media tells y'all. Don't lie, when you think of Texas, you think of white men in cowboy hats with tight jeans with Confederate flags going, woo, and drinking moonshine. Until you get to Texas and you realize that Jim Bob you're looking at is really a Carlos Rodriguez who has a sister that's married to an Antoine Jenkins who has a baby from a Mary Ann Taylor who has a stepson from a Carlos Rodriguez Senorita who's married to a Jessica Martinez who's just thinking about dating a Jim Bob. Texas is the most diverse state I've ever seen since I've been doing comedy. When I walked into my comedy show and I seen a C 
see a white folks, I say, okay, white folks, five things with white people. And then I heard some, this is on the boogie, boogie, boogie. Now you can't achieve. I knew my black people was there. Then I heard bitty, bitty, bum, bum. I knew my Hispanic people were there. And then I heard some, 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 some other stuff. And that's when I knew, you know what I'm saying? I had an Asian fan base in, um, Texas and stuff like that. Texas is the most diverse state that I've ever witnessed and it's the most inclusive in my opinion from what I experienced in Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio. Anything in between, I ain't touching yet. I'll be in Austin soon. My name is Josh Prey and I'm formally submitting my application to be a Houston Texan or Dallas Texan or San Diego Texan. Damn it, a Texan. My name is Josh Prey and I am formally submitting my application to become a Texan.